Welcome back to Confessions of a Time Monk. In our series, we travel to meet those who are working on the frontiers of consciousness. And if you've seen our Bonnie De Luca series, then you may have seen one of our interviews with one of my favorite people working in this field, Victor Sims. Victor is a developer of technology, but we're speaking from the consciousness movement. So Victor's um, prodigious talents have allowed him to create technology that brings consciousness into devices to be delivered in very specific ways. So Victor, um, let's take a step back for those who haven't seen the Bonnie DeLuca series and just give us, a, give us a bit of a, a history about how this technology began. Sure, thank you. Um, back in the early 90s or late 80s, uh, I had the sort of a, uh, an inner vision uh, and I was shown that um, we could capture consciousness. Um, at the time, I was a sound, sound studio engineer, you know, a sound engineer, and uh, using the equipment that I had at my disposal, um, I was able to sample various different herbs and remedies and all that sort of thing. And, and as, as we, we know that in a homeopathic solution, for instance, although there's no trace of a molecular structure of a homeopathic remedy, but there is actually a consciousness inside it. So uh, it was possible for me to uh, capture um, those uh, vibrations, those, um, those patterns of consciousness in the equipment that I had at the time. Anyway, as the story goes on, I developed um, uh, uh, a piece of equipment, and this is the latest version of that piece of equipment now. This is many years in, in the making, of course, but this is the version nine of uh, the equipment. And it, uh, although it's uh, just, a, just connected to a desktop or a laptop computer, it does actually allow us to sample remedies, just as I was doing back then. Uh, it allows us to store remedies. But most importantly, it allows us to um, analyze the energetic structure of the body looking for imbalances. So, so you're analyzing vi body. vibrational structures within the body. What are you actually analyzing when you're uh, looking at the body? Analyzing the, the various different subtle bodies. So, you know, there's the, the emotional body, the spiritual body, et cetera, et cetera. There's also the etheric body and also every organ and uh, even emotions have their imprint uh, in the biofield. So we're analyzing the biofield. The biofield really from, from everybody, the, everybody projects their biofield right out in front of them. So every single emotion they've got going on, every single disease is projected by the person in their biofield. So, so if I were to, for example, simplify this in terms of I walk into a room, I can see if someone's sad, mm. you know, not just by their features, but I get the feeling. Get the feeling, yeah. So that's part of what you're analyzing in this technology. Indeed, the, the, this, piece, this, piece of, this piece of equipment uh, and many others out there in the world, I mean, it's a great... It's a great time we're in because there's, you know, there's, there's tons of engineers out there who have done similar or had similar experiences on similar paths, and they're making all sorts of stuff to measure these subtle realms, these subtle, subtle biofields. Our particular piece of equipment, um, which on its, it's on its ninth generation now already. Ninth. Ninth, yeah. Um, so our piece of equipment analyzes the energetic biofield that the person is radiating. So we're really, we're just, we're just sensing something that's already being sent out from the biofield of the person. And then that's being analyzed and is it, I mean, is it viewed digitally? I mean, how are you actually viewing what's coming out of that, that well, analysis? Well, our special program that we've written, um, which is just a Windows-based um, platform on a laptop or a desktop, um, we've written the program to look at the uh, the streams of data that come back from within the unit, um, so we can tell from we can tell of, of imbalances in the system, which which includes emotional stuff as well. Interesting. Mm. And then this this in turn, you are able to program corrections for the imbalances. Yeah, we find a, a corrective pattern, uh -huh. which is identi which is identical to the thing that we're actually seeing. So really, we see. 
if there's a pattern that is uh, for a particular emotion, then we would find a pattern that um, brings that emotion back to balance. So this is essentially information. You're, you're delivering information yes. into a system that yeah. may have information that's in some way become corrupted. It's information driven, exactly right. So the body knows that there is something out of balance uh, and we find the, the, the necessary patterns to bring that particular thing, that's, that's the stressor that the body mm. is sending out. We, we can see the stressors mm -hmm. and we find a corrective pattern to, to balance that stressor on an holistic level. So it's the, all the subtle bodies, the physical body, the etheric body, all of them. So can this treat really serious illness potentially? Um, well, treating is a, you know, is a very strong and emotive word. Right. But what we can do is we look at the whole system and we can see oh. things are out of balance energetically. Right. And as okay. we know, um, uh, pathology follows energy. Mm. So thought starts the whole process off. A thought, energy follows thought, and then pathology follows the whole lot. Mm. So if we're thinking in a negative or in an unbalanced way, ultimately pathology is going to be down there at the end of the road. Right, right. So the application for this now, you are nine generations into this, mm -hmm. but you've also extrapolated this into a whole series of other devices that are actually available in the marketplace. That's right. This is, this is really the, um, the flagship of what we do. It sounds like the mothership of what you do. <laughs> um, it's, certainly, it's certainly shown us uh, this is a learning tool for us as well, uh -huh. okay. because as we as we start to develop it and we write new programs constantly for the for the device, um, as we develop it and our understanding of consciousness starts to evolve, then we actually a thought will drop into our mind of myself or my team that uh, well how about if we could help with um, you know Lyme's disease or something right well, Lyme's disease although you know the, there's the whole pathological side to it. There is actually an energetic side to it. So what is it that we can do to help um, uh, support support that? And so there are patterns in there for helping, you know, balance the, from an holistic point of view, balance the energy so that the body's own healing system, you must remember that this is not a treatment system, right? but it's a system that, that fires up the body's own healing system, which is the key to it all. So, so, for example, using your Lyme's disease example, what would someone who has Lyme's disease, how would they interact with this machine? Um, essentially, they would go along to a practitioner mm -hmm. and the practitioner would do a, um, an energy scan mm -hmm. and uh, it would show in terms of Lyme's disease because of the way that Lyme affects the, the whole of the body. Mm -hmm. Uh, there will be many things that it would show out of balance. So the, a pattern will, you'll a pattern. see a pattern that represents yeah. Lyme's disease within the context of the data visualized from this. Yes, yes. Okay. Essentially, there'll be different organs that are out of balance. Uh -huh. um, but uh, one of the things to, because because it's such a difficult problem, Lyme's disease, and it's, it's almost pandemic yes. across the world, um, because it's such a difficult problem, it needs constant energetic balancing. See, so one session on this machine or any other machine is unlikely to be uh, of great support because of the, of the, of the sheer intensity of the mm. problem. But what we, what we have is a series of, um, so I just can reach into my goodie box here, uh, we have a series of uh, pendants and things, which I don't think I've got a, yes I have, I haven't got one here, but we have one for Lyme's disease. So these are pendants, pre-programmed pendants. Um, we have them for all sorts of different things. And because Lyme's disease is such a problem, we have designed a formula which balances energetically um, some of the stressors created in Lyme's disease. So a sufferer would then wear this pendant? They will wear the pendant 24-7 because ah, that's, that's right. the benefit. It's a 24-7 uh -huh. thing. You know, you can have a... You can have a treatment on here once a month, maybe. Right. But actually, this is 24 hours a day. So this is remaining a constant idea. with a... Yeah. And so I'm looking at this. And, and in fact, I, I you don't see them, but I'm wearing, I think, three of them right now <laughs> for different things. So this is for stress balance. And then you have the healer's assistant here. Which increase... Um, I mean, if I just if I should just showed you... These are the off, some of the offshoots. We have many. These are just a, a few 
of um, 20 or 30 that we already have done. And people can find these on the website. Yeah, we put a website link up at the end there right. for people to find. Um, just typically, I mean, the, the, one of the biggest problems in life, I think, is stress mm. and the amount of the amount of discord in a person's biofield caused by stress of all sorts of different kinds is horrendous. So these, this particular pendant is to help balance the energetic component of all of those, of, of stress. stress. There's another one here, which is a, a psychic protection thing. Mm. Now, when we first invented this... Um, and what's it called? It's called protection. protection. But it's protection from a, from a psychic standpoint. Uh -huh. And you mentioned earlier that if you go into a room and the room feels bad, um, or you can sense somebody sad or something like that. We all, I'm sure, all of us can go into a, a hotel or at somebody's house, and we go in and we think, oh, hang on, this, 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 something's this, not right here. this feels this, awful. Right. But some places are not only awful, they're downright bad. So um, sensitive people tend to um, pick up on the adverse energies that are present in, mm. in some of these rooms. So this has been designed to create a filter. In other oh, words, to huh. strengthen the person's biofield, what we were talking about earlier, to strengthen their field and to create a filter specifically targeted to eliminate and uh, get rid of and create a filter uh, against some of those adverse energies that people find. And it's an absolute must, this little thing, for wow. anybody who is sensitive. So the work that you've been doing extends beyond your support for the human race and i noticed that you have a technology that's also directed into the world of the bee the bees indeed we have this um device here which we call be healthy <laughs> uh -huh. um and this can you be sit around in a conference room thinking these things up actually <laughs> the well, sometimes yes is the answer to that because uh, we've got a great team you know that uh, that supports us and uh, sometimes they just uh, kind of just drop out the air into our minds and <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it's a bit cheesy, but however, um, something to remember. Uh, and this is a, a, a disc uh, made of silicon. It contains um, a tourmaline. It contains germanium and other things to hold the pat resonance patterns. Uh -huh. um, and the patterns are then uh, the patterns that we program into it mm -hmm. are then radiated um, in uh, about a meter, I guess, in, in the whole size of the thing. And these patterns are there to strengthen the bee's immune system uh, against things like varroa. Now, we've done a lot of uh, trials in um, Sweden, mm -hmm. uh, and we had, I think, about 70 hives there. And we put, uh, randomly, they put uh, bee discs on uh, some of these hives. Right. And at the end of the season, when they have to do, when they have to, um, they have to check for varroa, mm -hmm. and they do this by putting a special pad in, that basically kills off all the row, and the, the row might drop through to the bottom into a net, mm -hmm. and then they count the dead bugs. Wow. All right. Yeah. And on the hives that uh, had our devices in, uh, which were randomly spread among these 70, um, there were only numbers like three and four and five varroa mite, whereas in others there were several hundred. Wow. So that's a, a great confirmation. A great confirmation, and we're very pleased with that. Uh -huh. And um this is uh, this is the new version of that particular uh, disc that we. And made. when is this is released? This is available now. Uh, it's available now. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, um, and then I also saw you have one that's for horses. Horses, yes. This is um, uh, a lot of pet owners, not only horses, but we have a, a pet one as well. Uh huh. And a lot of um, uh, animal owners um, are buying these to. At the moment, this is set for stress. So again, mm. it's it's almost the, not quite the same, but so these are programmable. These so programmed, the, programmed, pre-programmed, pre-programmed. Pre okay. And uh, these these are set for um, eliminating stress because animals suffer from stress greatly as well. Right. Um, horses and cats and dogs uh, mainly that we deal with, and there is a pendant for cats and dogs, mm. and there's this particular one for horses you put on the collar on the altar, mm. and uh, it sends out energetically balance again it's information mm -hmm. it's information technology mm -hmm. but it's aimed at a very conscious level of stimulating an energetic change in the consciousness of the animal so that they feel less stressed etc uh, etc et same the way that it works for humans and then you also have one for learning disabilities i believe 
Um, we have uh, this little device here, which is for children. And this is a, a company um, called uh, Edutherapy uh, down in Kent in, uh -huh. um, uh, in the UK. And they're just going to launch this uh, onto the market. They've already been testing it for uh, a number of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're getting ready to launch this for um, children. Uh, who have learning dif difficulties. So you've developed this for them? Developed it for them, At yes. their request? Yes. Yes, it obviously we've got the technology here. Right. We know how to uh, deliver it, and uh, they use our machines anyway. Right. And this is just a natural progression. So are your, are your practitioners, the people who are using this, coming back to you with requests for specific types yeah, of they are. programming? They, yes, exactly. Um, the, uh, our practitioners, um, uh, several hundred of them, um, contact us asking us, can we do this? Can we do this? Which is where the Lyme's one came from. Uh -huh. So in certain countries, it, it almost seems it's pandemic. Uh, this was in Norway, I think, where it started. And we had requests from our practitioners, you know, what can we do? What can we do? We have all these people suffering from this. You know, can we put our thinking cap on? How would we best go about this? So in the case of the Lyme's disease one, we actually sent it out to a, a request to our practitioners mm -hmm. who know, who because there's doctors among them, who knows anything about this subject. Let's put all of our thoughts together, see whether we can uh, con construct, construct a, a formula. And over a period of a couple of years, I mean, it took two years, uh -huh. uh, uh, with all the feedback that we got. Because first you had to find the energy signature of the disease before you can address yes. the... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a multifaceted thing. Wow. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very complicated subject, Lyme's disease, because it it's got multi, multi bits around it. But given several hundred people uh, that potentially could offer mm -hmm. uh, as a collective information about it, uh, it was. It took us about a couple of years to to start to make a dent in uh, relieving the symptoms by balancing the mm. energy. Because mm. ultimately, the body is doing the healing, so the body needs support to then do the healing on itself, so it gets better. Mm. You know, these mm. are not doing. Uh, you know, these these are not treating the body. Uh -huh. They're just supporting the supporting body. Supporting the body mm. to do its own healing. And this technology is being utilized by both allopathic, uh, alternative, I mean, what's the scope of, of what type of practitioners are actually utilizing the technology now? Uh, there are many, I guess, um, probably half, uh, half the practitioners are homeopaths. Uh -huh. uh, there is a, a large selection of medical doctors who, um, who actually use it as well. You know, some of the, some, some doctors are, um, you know, they have uh, extra skills, not only in allopathic medicine, but they have an interest in finding out how to help people. Mm -hmm, right. And they don't really care how they help them as long as they do. Right. And they reach out to all sorts of different things to help people. So, uh, and also just ordinary clinicians, clinic of, of various different kinds, drug clinics and all sorts mm -hmm. of, you know, hard drug clinics. Uh, they all have this equipment to... Uh -huh. uh, to help those people as well. Do you program a practitioner's guide? I mean, or sorry, uh, uh, is there a guide of practitioners or some sort of a directory? Um, really, that needs to come directly through us. Okay. Uh, we don't. So someone can things. contact you yes, to indeed. find whether if there's a practitioner in their area. In their area, yes, so, okay. and country, because we have, you know, we're in several or well, many countries around the world. How, do you know how many countries you're dispersed into uh, now? Just not quite all of them yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But lots more dots than I've got on my oh. head. <laughs> well, so this is um, this is part one of what I think should be a two-part interview now, and we're going to conclude this portion of the interview, um, and then we're going to step into some of the background of how this technology has come to you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.